From time immemorial, the moon and stars have always been the shining light of the night skies. However, an unexpected third light source has emerged to join the list, and it's none other than the Starlink satellite. In recent times, these internet satellites have become the new shining force of the night skies, leaving us with more questions than answers. But why would an internet satellite appear bright among the stars in the night sky? And how exactly can you spot them? Let's find out. Starlink is an orbital satellite network created to provide high-speed internet service across the world. According to the company's official website, Starlink internet service is ideally suited for areas of the globe where connectivity has typically been a challenge, or locations where access has been unreliable or completely unavailable. This includes locations in the farthest areas of our Earth like Antarctica and the polar regions. The idea for this grand project was initially unveiled in January 2015 by Elon Musk under the spectrum of his aerospace company, SpaceX. However, the first batch of active Starlink satellites didn't arrive in the low Earth orbit until four years later in 2019. Since that momentous launch, the company has achieved remarkable success, embarking on numerous missions and deploying over 4,200 Starlink satellites in the lower Earth orbit as of June 2023. This might seem like a small number, but it's actually significant, especially if you compare it to the total number of satellites in space. Presently, there are 7,702 active satellites located throughout various Earth orbits. But remarkably, roughly 55% of these orbiting pioneers belong to none other than SpaceX. That's a huge achievement for a company whose first official launch happened less than a decade ago. Aside from having robust infrastructure, the Starlink internet service is also superior to the normal broadband internet connection. According to reports, Starlink could reportedly move internet data approximately 50% faster than fiber optic internet. Information on the company's website pegs the Starlink internet speed at anywhere between 25 and 220 megabytes per second. But widespread reports and results from testing platforms show that most users only enjoy internet speeds of over 100 megabytes per second. However, the expectation is that as more satellites are launched and more ground stations are installed, Starlink will be able to improve critical features like uptime, latency, networking software, and data speed to a point where users will enjoy top speeds of around 300 megabytes per second by the end of the year. At the time of making this video, most of the active Starlink satellites in space were flown into orbit by the Falcon 9 rocket. Each Falcon 9 vehicle has the capacity to transport between 50 and 60 Starlink satellites to space at once. First, these satellites are transported into an initial parking orbit located about 440 kilometers above our Earth. From this parking orbit, the Starlink satellites activate their solar panels and thrusters to begin their ascent into the operational orbit, which is situated around 160 kilometers above the orbit of the International Space Station. It is within this operational orbit that these internet beaming devices find their final position. According to Jonathan McDowell, an astrophysicist from the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics, the transit period for a Starlink satellite to move from the parking orbit to the operational orbit typically spans between one to three months. During this transit phase, the satellites are considered inactive. Admittedly, this operational orbit is relatively low compared to the orbit that high-flying conventional communication satellites occupy. And that is why it is necessary for SpaceX to launch thousands of Starlink satellites if it is ever going to achieve its aim of providing seamless internet access across the globe. Each Starlink satellite has the capacity to broadcast signals across an area of 2.9 million square miles, which is equivalent to the landmass of Australia. And at 550 pounds, the Starlink satellite weighs just about the same size as an average Galapagos porpoise. Again, it's quite small compared to the normal size of communication satellites, and that's why most people have labeled Starlink satellites as small sets or flying routers. Unwittingly, other members of the public have also dubbed these internet beaming satellites as UFOs, especially after sighting them in the night sky across several states, including Utah, Michigan, Illinois, Connecticut, Ohio, and Wisconsin. Naturally, it's possible to see some satellites in other orbiting bodies. For instance, our favorite natural satellite, the moon, is a constant feature in the night skies and sky watchers love nothing more but to catch a glimpse of the lunar world as it traverses through the sky. And of course, the typical night sky would be incomplete without the presence of the stars. 
But with the right timing, you could top off the amazing nighttime experience with the sight of the International Space Station, ISS, dashing across the front of a full moon or an exquisite scenery of a train of Starlink satellites floating graciously among the stars. But how is this possible? Well, you see, contrary to what most people think, the moon, and the only reason we're able to spot them in the night sky is because they reflect the light from the sun. Stars, on the other hand, are naturally luminous elements because they emit their own light. But just like the moon, they also reflect light from the sun. And it is this same principle that makes it possible for millions of people across the world to sight Starlink satellites. However, unlike the moon and stars that appear every other night, the train of lights created by Starlink satellites are not visible forever. Once they arrive in the parking orbit, the satellites travel in line, maintaining the right elevation and orientation required for the next phase of their journey to the operational orbit. It is during this phase that the sun shines on them, making them luminous and visible from the ground. However, as they continue their journey to their final destination, these satellites will reflect less sunlight and ultimately grow dimmer until they eventually escape human sight. But while they're within the zone of visibility, you can track them down and hopefully get a glimpse of how they look with the help of platforms like SatelliteMap.Space and Find Starlink. For sky watchers and space enthusiasts in general, the sight of these satellites is something to look forward to. But obviously, the engineers at SpaceX wouldn't feel the same because the appearance of these satellites in the night sky means they're yet to achieve operational orbit and cannot be utilized to expand the fast-growing network of Starlink satellites in low Earth orbit. Expectedly, SpaceX is working round the clock to ramp up the time it takes for Starlink satellites to transit between the parking orbit and the operational orbit. Perhaps more importantly, the company plans to launch more satellites as quickly as possible. According to reports, SpaceX plans to have a mega constellation of around 42,000 satellites in space by 2050, which would allow it to cover the entire length and breadth of the Earth. At the moment, the company is still working on completing the installation of the first-generation Starlink constellation, which will consist of 4,408 satellites across five shells in different orbits. Interestingly, other startups like OneWeb, Telecast, and Project Kuiper are also planning to build similar networks. On one hand, this is a welcome development because it would solve all the internet connectivity and reliability issues that we face at the moment. But in the long run, radical developments like this would eventually lead to chaos in the skies. To start with, the visibility of satellites like Starlink impedes scientific observation and astronomical research. In a recent study simulating the impact of 65,000 satellites on our planet was published in the Astronomical Journal. The findings revealed that by the time we have this many satellites in space, one in every five observations of the night sky will be streaked by the passing of satellites. Also, satellite debris poses a big problem to the safety of the International Space Station and astronauts in space. As a result, the International Astronomical Union has called on SpaceX and other companies in the aerospace field to reduce the brightness by using less reflective materials in the construction of satellites. The organization also asked SpaceX to reduce the number of its satellites in space and also ensure that destroyed satellites are properly disposed of. In response to these requests, SpaceX announced it would implement changes to the design of its satellites and make necessary adjustments to its launch schedules. Critically, the company also rolled out plans to implement a ground-based system to track and deorbit damaged satellites. But apparently doing this might not even be enough to solve all the problems that come with having mega constellations of satellites in space. One critical problem of hosting too many satellite orbits is that they interfere with radio communication and the sensitivity of telescopes. So even if we devise a plan to make them invisible to the human eye, they will still be visible to powerful telescopes.